Hey everybody, my name is Sarah Lean and in this video I want to explain to you what Windows Package Manager is. Now Windows Package Manager is a Microsoft open source tool that allows you to manage your software on your machine. So it's a command line utility that can install, upgrade or uninstall the pieces of software that you use on your machine. Now I want to show you how to actually install it on your machine, how to install and search for programs and software within it to install on your machine and how you can actually use it to export a list of packages or bits of software that you have installed on your machine and then use that to help you populate other laptops, other PCs with the exact same software using the utility. So let's dive in and have a look. There are several ways that you can get the Windows Package Manager installed on your machine. For me, the simplest and quickest way is to actually head over to the GitHub repository where the team store the source code and a lot of their documentation. If we click on releases, we can see the latest release that the team have um, released for us. Now, if we scroll down, we will get a bunch of assets. Now, what we are after is the MSIX bundle. So if we click on that and let it download, what we will get is a file that we can actually install onto our machine. So if we click on that and let it install, at the end of this, we will have the Windows Package Manager installed and we can start to actually use it. Now to use Windows Package Manager, you need to open up, say, a PowerShell command um, shell session or Windows Terminal, which is my preferred shell terminal. Now we can type in winget, which shows us a list of commands, also tells us the version and gives us some helpful information about what Windows Package Manager is and what it can do. What we want to do here as an example is use Windows Package Manager to search for all types of video editing or video software that we could potentially install on our machine. So we type in winget space search space video and this will go off and search for any software that is related to video um, editing or video manipulation or anything around that type of area. It gives us back a list of software that we, we would regard as video software. And we can see that's either because of the name or the tag that people have used to catalog this software. Now, if we were interested in a certain bit of software and wanted to find out a bit more information about it, what we can actually do is type in Winget Show and the ID of that software. In this example, we're gonna actually have a deeper look at the OBS Studio software that's available to us. So we type in Winget Show and the ID for that. What we get back here is a list of the information in a bit more detail. So things like the publisher, the author, a description, where the file is from. We can see the language that this package will install on and we can even see the hash. Now that we know more about this bit of software, what we want to do is actually install it. So again, we'll type in winget install and then the package ID. What Windows Package Manager will do here is download that software and start to install it. Now this take, may take a few minutes depending on the size and the complexity of the package install. But thanks to Windows Package Manager, we now have that bit of software installed and we can start to actually use that. Now one thing I know I do a lot of is actually rebuild my laptop or my machine and then spend a lot of time trying to reinstall the software and remember all the pieces of software that I had on that laptop. What we can actually do is with Windows Package Manager we can actually export a list of software that we have installed and then use that file and Windows Package Manager on the new version or the rebuilt version of my laptop or PC to reinstall all of that software. We can do that by using the winget export command. Here we're actually going to type in winget export dash o which is meaning we want to export the list of packages and we want to um, put that output file so that that information that is collected about all the software that's installed into a JSON file called software list. Now we also want to include the versions so we want to make sure that we're including the versions of software that we have because there are some bits of software that I actually have for specific reasons so I have that certain version because I like the features and the functionality of that version and not the future versions. So after a few minutes Windows Package Manager gives me back that list so we can open up that file, that JSON file in Visual Studio Code and actually have a look at it and potentially edit it if we want to make some changes. 
Here we can see a list of all the packages and the versions of software that I have installed. And from there, I can then take that file and import it into my new version of my laptop quite easily and quickly rebuild it and get back to being productive. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please do hit the like button if you have learned about Windows Package Manager in this video. And please do hit me up in the comments about how you are using Windows Package Manager or any questions that you have, and I'll be glad to answer them. Hopefully catch you in the next video.